Good morning, Grant High School. My name is Daisy Marie. And my name is Luis. Today is Wednesday, October 9th. And you're watching Pacers, Pacers on, on Demand. Demand. What up, Pacers? I heard Blood Drive just started today. Let's go check it out. What up, Pacers? I'm here with... Ishani. Okay, Ishani. So why are you donating your blood today? Because I can save people's lives. Okay, so why should uh, other people donate their blood? They should give back to the community and help save lives for little children. Will you be donating blood in the near future? Yes, I would be. What up, Pacers? I'm here with... Jeffrey Calzada. Alright, Jeffrey. So why are you donating blood? You know, I, I heard I could save three babies' lives or a child's life, and I really want to help people out. Like, I really, like, feel for these kids, you know, like, to not have what they need. You know, that really sucks, and I really want to help out the community as much as I can. All right, Jeffrey, so what, it's, what can inspire others to donate their blood? You know, it's, it's a great experience. You know, you feel really good about it. You know, you know, like, wow, I really did that. I, I saved that kid's life. And it doesn't even take that long. It doesn't hurt. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, be on Go Pacers 2020. See y'all there. Thank you for your time. No problem. So I'm here with... Mrs. Shepard. So Ms. Shepard, what are the benefits of Blood Drive? Well, the Blood Drive is really important to our community because without drives like the ones that we host here at Grant High School, there would be a shortage of blood needed for transfusions for victims of violent crime or car accidents or things of that nature, surgeries for tiny babies and, and old folks. Um, there's a constant need for blood donation in our community and in every community. So why should people donate blood? Well, I mean, most of us are always looking for a way to change the world, and this is one tiny little way you could do that. You can save somebody's life in a half an hour today. Okay, so what would happen if blood drive wasn't around? So if we didn't conduct blood drives, then our community would suffer a shortage of blood on hand, which could mean that the next person who is shot or the next person who's in a car accident or has an accident at work might not have the vital blood needed to sustain his life, and he could die. Is there anything you'd like to add? I would. One donation from a student your age could save the life of three infants needing blood transfusions at birth. And today, especially, um, the blood drive is in honor of Rufus Walton Jr., who was a student at Grant High School and a faithful blood donor, and he lost his life in May. So we're here today to support his family and to continue his legacy of life-saving blood donation. Thank you for your time. Well, Pacers, we just got done interviewing Blood Drive. Back to the set. Real Life Poets will be meeting October 15th and October 29th at lunch in W14. Come learn and share poetry. For more information, see Ms. Miller in W14. Do you have a secret admirer? Do you have a BFF whose birthday is coming soon? Our club will be selling special occasion posters at your request for only $7. Pick up your application forms in room 44 West Campus. Explain in detail what you want like placed on the poster and the artist will create a wonderful picture of your dreams. Posters come with a bouquet of small balloons, lovely decor, and small fun accessories. The poster's bouquet will be delivered to your first or sixth period classroom. This is an art club production. Remember, pick up applications on West Campus in room 44. The Arts Academy is participating in a fundraiser. The Arts Academy is selling gift cards worth hundreds of dollars of discounts for only $20. If you would like to purchase a gift card, see Mr. Perkins in the Cable Studio or talk to art students for more information. October 31st, we will be hosting our annual Trunk or Treat in Haunted House. Trunk or Treat is 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the main parking lot. Pacers, junior and senior prom tickets are now on sale. The early bird price is $75 now through October 31st. After that, tickets will be sold at regular price for $90 on November 1st to April 1st. Souvenir tickets are for $5 extra. See Ms. Siobhan to purchase tickets. 
If you have any more questions, see Ms. Lopez or Ms. Thompson for more info. Grand High's Arts Academy and Wardrobe Clothing are having their first ever fashion show Friday, October 11th. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the show starts at 7 and ends at 8. The clothing brand will unveil the latest season of its collection plus future upcoming projects that they plan on dropping. This is a major assignment of creative brought together by the Warje team. Be the first to witness history in the making. The haunted house is from 8 to 9.30 p.m., $3, and begins in the auditorium. Come if you dare. All 9th through 11th grade students will be taking the PSAT and all the 12th grade students will be taking the SAT on October 16th. The exam is free and you will be taking it on campus. Students will be informed all of the details during their English class. Please email your counselor with any questions you have regarding the exam. Polynesian Club Pizza Fundraiser Dine in and carry out only at 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. on on Monday, October 14th at Mountain Mike's Pizza, located in 2069 Arena Boulevard. At Mountain Mike's Pizza, located in 2069 Arena Boulevard, Suite 100 at Sacramento, California. College and FAFSA application help. Eight weeks on the calendar and about six weeks actual time to complete your college applications. Time will go quicker than you think. Come Wednesday at 2 at 12.49 to 4. It's a G3 for snacks, beverages, and help. See you there. Pages on Demand is brought to you by the Grand Student Programming Network. My name is Jason Marie. And my name is Louise. Have an, Have an amazing, amazing day, Pages. Pages.